Marvelous Engineering. Before us starting our video, if you doesn't subscribe our channel, then first click on subscribe option, then click on bell icon so that you can never mistake any update. Generative Safe Design Class Theory Wireframe Tools We are going to start our new tutorial in Generative Safe Safe Design and our tutorial number is 3 and today we are going to study about Wireframe in Generative Safe Design so let us start First, open save generative self design. Okay. Now, these tools we are going to study. This first is point. It is used to denote a point in 3D. It is used to give a line in 3D which are various point to point, point direction, angle number curve, these are very tough. It is, it is used to, and this one is used to create a new This is used to give a point. In, in 3D uh, drawing, this is used to give a line in 3D menu. This is our 3D buttons, and this is used to create a new plane. It is also made up as I see. So, skipping this three topic, I am going to start with 3D stuff. In which I am starting from back side. So, first is our curve, as per line. This is used, this all are 3D operations. These all are done in 3D operations. So let's start. This is our spline. We use to make a spline. Okay. For making a spline, first you have to give the dog. So first you click on XML plane and give dogs. The so first one is here, second one is here, third one is here, fourth one is here. Okay, now joining this point you can make a spline using these tools. Just click on a spline, click on first point, sorry, just click your third, click on a spline, okay, now click on first point, second point, third point, fourth point, fifth point. After selecting your all point, you just click and close this color. Preview. Okay. One thing I will tell you. When you drawing it, okay, I mean this one by by you select it. So first you unselect your all point. Just click anywhere in your buttons. Suppose I click here. Now this or unselected here. Now click on this color. First click at any point you want. First is your this point, second is your this point, third is your this point, fourth is your this, fifth is your this, and lastly just click on progress to We make a progress to that. Preview, okay. This will make a fish. Now, next. Another is Hanex. It is used to make a helix. For it, first you have to do the plane and draw and simply draw a point. So, coach, the point was selected here. Okay. Now, in this form button, now your first job is unselect your point. Okay. Now, click on helix. The starting point is about this. So click here. Axis. You have to choose your axis from here. Your compass. Why is your upper direction? So you have to first click on helix. Click here. And it should be on y direction. Pitch. The distance between these two points, uh, I am showing you the distance between these two units P. So I am putting here the value of P is equal to 5 and height and how by the height. Suppose I put height is equal to 100. Okay. Now look, 
കിട്ടിയിട്ടുണ്ട് not only this if you want to make it with a line then to also give you create a line for it you have to draw another sketch in your same plane you have to draw this on the okay so plane now again click on x y plane and click on draw now just draw straight line Okay. Now click on this. Click on this and to axis along this, to along, move along this. From this point to this point, to this point to this point. To your pitch, ten. Your height, edge, support, hundred. Review. Oh. If you want it upper direction, then just click on the first direction. Move in upper direction. Not only this. If you draw in a profile, you can also make. First, you have to draw a profile. Suppose uh, I am going to draw a pot. Okay. Now from here, the our starting point. Okay, you can create a pot. Now just just from workbench. Now click on helix. Click on starting point is this, and click on profile and click on this profile. Ah, uh, one thing I miss. Ah, uh, we have to create a line, and our line is point to point. First point is this, and second. Uh, one thing I have do wrong in that we have to make a straight line from this point so that it can evolve around this. Okay, this is our straight line. Now, okay. Now click on helix. To the starting point. This is the starting point. This is the axis. Okay. I am making these two in the same way. So if I delete it, okay. Now just look. First, click on helix. Click this one is your starting point, okay. And this is your direct, okay. Is this long? It will make. Now your sketch is already selected. So first, you have to unselect your sketch. Click a starting point from this point. It will start axis along vertical line. This. So click on this. Okay. Now given a pitch is equal to two point five. Okay, and height and click on profile and just click on this profile and give a height of it. Your suppose you put hundred. Click on preview. Now we have to give the height one fifty. Ah, uh, two hundred. Look, according to your profile, it will make a helix type of structure. This is our helix. Now moving to next, and that is our a spiral. For it, you just give a point. From here, it will start. So for this is our point, it will start. So I put a point. Click on a spiral. First, you have to unselect your point. Click on a spiral. This is our center point. Is our this and support is our this along this. It will make a pleasant direction in my direction. Okay. And radius is along a twenty. Okay. Click on. We have to change the relation. How many relation? Twenty relation. Number twenty relation. Look. A starting from this point in vertical direction. In in hidden support of vertical, we have to put it horizontal so that it will get better. 
uh, it should be in polygenter and now it's okay. Now putting the radius is equal to 20 and number of regulation is equal to 100. Click on preview and have the in radius a angle and in radius. If you change angle and also become some different. I am showing you it's called a big tab. First we have to look. Now if put angle is equal to 30 degree, then around 30 degree to move. Look, it is from, from this part at 30 degree, it will be a starting. In many tabs, angle and each. Angle 30 degree and each support put 5, 20. That with the distance of 20, it will be stop. This is a mm, commonly used with each. Look. Another tab is also present here. That is radius and pitch. If you put in radius, in that one game and having to use it up, it will make but number of liberation in it is six. So you cannot change it increase the pitch then you will change. So the most commonly used is angle and pitch. This is most commonly used. This is perfect graph in a spiral. The distance between this two point, number of resolution in in angle. At this angle, it will be close. The, this point is thirty degree. Apart from from this point, the angle between these two point is thirty degree. This is showing this at in angle. Our radius is twenty in starting radius. So you should use this angle in pitch. We also, but it is the our pitch is too or small. Look, our pitch look. So you should use this. You look better. Okay. Now moving to next. A spine. It used to get a spine with plane. Let's see. This is our first play. We are going to create okay it will work in 3D also. We have to create a new plane from this plane an offset of 50 mm. Okay. From this plane, create a new plane. This will uh, angle normal to plane. And make an rotation axis is our y direction and degree is 60 degree. Okay, now the move is 60 degree. Now taking this plane, create a new plane with a distance of 70 mm with you and height is. Now again choose this plane, XY plane, create a new plane, with angle and normal to plane, and our axis will be Y axis, and angle should be minus 30 degree. Okay, now choose this plane, create a new plane, with a distance of 19. Okay, I'm not going to take more. You should choose your plane while it's already coming. Now just click on this a spine and choose your plane. A starting from this plane, go to this plane, then this plane, and then this. 
will give you four. It will make us plan according to your data given. You should take your own data and according to requirement and make this type of spine using plain. Now moving to another point, this contact it is not so important, and I am also this moment is why I am skipping this topic, and I am moving to iso parametric curve. This is a very well curve tool. Sorry, this will be very useful. Let's see what is this. First, you have to click on X for plane and draw anything. A curve to what? Suppose I am drawing a curve. Okay. Now exclude it. Width and distance of shifting. Okay. After excluding this, now choose a point in this plane at any point. For it, you have to click on 3D point here. Click on point and choose at any point. Suppose I have to give a point at here. Okay. So take this point and at this plane, this point. Okay. To view of oh. now you take this point in this curve. Now after that, click on this also parametric curve. Okay. Now this is our support. This is our point. So this is our point and direction in this direction. In this and in this. Put in this direction, it will make a straight line. Okay. We will make a similar line of this. Okay. So we have to draw this number of times. And we can draw one. And by using this, we will draw a multiple number of steps. Click OK and click on I. Click on I. Look. This is also parametric curve. Now moving to that, this is called projection. Hey man. This very well to support I am showing how it is there. Suppose you draw a oh. it's not bad, so I am going to try it. Suppose you dry any type of suppose you dry lips, okay, from this point. Make a straight line from this point to this point, okay. Now take these tools and take this point. After this, now please yes. That is the volume. With a degree of 20 degree and this is our angle. So review of okay. This is our profile. Now if you want to make a circle on this one, then what will you do? Just simply take a plane perpendicular to this. This is our plane. Choosing this. Click on a sketch. Sorry. Uh, choosing this, uh, take a new plane from upper depth. Now we are increasing its height uh, to 120. To just upper. Okay. Now take this plane and draw any curve you want to draw on this surface. Just draw it. We'll draw a circle, okay. 
my look it is up there you have to next first one select for five now click on projection here that that first one click on projected this is projected support this is our support to review hide it also hide it look the circle has been drawn on this so this is for the very well used tools now another one is intersections and using intersection from this point suppose you have to draw a rectangle here Okay. Now screw it. Ah, ten minutes. So they have to fill it. Ah, uh, fill this. No. We use the intersection of these two. Then how do we check? Okay, just simply you have to do that. You have to click on the intersection, and first limit is this one, and second limit is this. Click on preview. Click on OK. Just hide your fill, hide, and also hide your sketch. Look, the rectangle. Cut this. Now this, this is our intersection. Another one is parallel curve. Just click on this, and you have to drag this parallel to this, and click this, and and this. So minus mark happens. So with a it's limited will be done. So we have to from this go up, and this length should not be less than this point. So we have to increase this. After that, we are going to study about this. This circle, corner, connect curve, as connect curve, and this is our point. So let's start. First, we will click X Y plane and draw any point. Okay. After that, click here on circle. This is our center selected and support. I will draw it X Y frame. How many does fifty mm? Here is two option. See how it is. You click on this. Then it will make a complete circle. Click here and put any angle. Suppose if it is two fifty degree, it will make a circle of two fifty degree. So we look. If we change here, suppose put one eighty degree. Then it will make twenty degree. If Change the value to 200 degree. It will make a circle of 200 degree. If you click here, then it will make a complete course. So, this is our circle. Now move to next corner. We used to give the corner group to profile. Let's see. Uh, first, I have data point. Dry helix. Just selecting this point already, it will be in y direction. Radius is of each 10 mm. Let's suppose each 10 mm and height has to be 100 mm. Preview. Oh. Now take a plane and draw a straight line. After that, click here on corner. Okay, and you have to put here 3D corner. 
By default, it is going to corner and support. You have to click 3D corner and click on uh, these two options should be there. If you start it, then it will be showing this folder. When you open it, will be like this. You have to do that. You have to first click on this corner on support and put here 3D corner. Okay. After that, element first. Java helix or have to select helix and then to click here trim elements. Okay. Now second one, Java this line. So to put this line and also click here trim element. Okay. After that, put a radius of 10 mm. Okay, click on preview. There could decrease the radius. So I put a radius 5 mm. This should increase the radius to 3 mm. At radius 50 mm, it will be. Now you have seen two lines. This is so that two possibilities of cornering is two profile. I have to corner from this point. So the orange one is so that this will be done. You click OK. Then this corner will be done. But we have to do this corner and just simply click here. No, this one will be done and this will be not done. So, so click here. So that make it orange which you want to give corner. I will making this orange. Now click on preview. Click OK. The corning of this two point will be done. Which address are put in? They have to put the address value should be according to your profile. And uh, and the and the corner you want to do, you should make it of orange color. Blue color will think that it will be happen. It will be a possibility. But the but but the corning is of the orange color. Okay. Okay. Now move to next point. That is our connect curve. It used to connect two curve. It is used to connect two parts simply. Let's show you. Click a swipe plane and draw any open curve. This point. This point. This point. This point. Okay. Now it is an open curve. We want to connect this curve. So here to click on curve. Okay, now click. This is our point. This is our first point, and this is our curve. Now second point. This is our second point. This is our curve. Now it will say it will be in reverse direction. If you want it outside, then just click here reverse direction for first one and reverse direction for second one. And it will be the show you the thickness. Simply 10 cm. You increase the length, it will be well. Click preview. Look. If you decrease this, what so this is 1, 2, I am putting 2, no, I am putting here 1. Now it will look better. This is decreases to 2. Then it will okay. So it is used to connect a curve with having two points. There's some showing again. Click here, connect curve. Then choose your first point. This is our first point and this is our curve. Take it automatically. Now click on second point. These two points will be closed. Click on this. This will be inside. If you want to it outside, then just click on reverse direction. And this will showing off your tension. So click preview. Click off. This connected two curves. Okay. Now another one is conic. Here click on corner, you say a start point, hit point, a start and then hit end. Okay. So let's see what is this. First we have to click two point. That is first point is our starting point. 
suppose I have clicked first point here and second point here. Okay. These are what two points. 